It's tough in the oil patch. The price of oil is as low as $35 a barrel. So you can't really blame Rachel Notley and Alberta's NDP for all the layoffs. I mean, it's not their fault that world oil prices are so low. <laughs> yeah, that's what the NDP's apologists in the media would say, except how do you explain this? Today, Lex Management announced they had raised $142 million to invest in oil and gas, most of it in Saskatchewan right across the Alberta border. Uh, same world oil prices, same problems with pipeline access. The only difference, well, as Premier Brad Wall pointed out in his tweet, is in Saskatchewan, they're not having another oil royalty review like Notley is, looking for more ways to tax the goose that lays the golden egg. And it was Twitter, so Premier Brad Wall didn't have room to also write in Saskatchewan, they're not bringing in a carbon tax like Alberta is. They're not raising personal and corporate income taxes like Alberta is. So that's proof. At $35 a barrel, not only is it still possible to make money from existing oil and gas projects, but it's actually possible to attract new investors who say, this is the best opportunity I have for my money. Let me hire a bunch of people and build things and drill for oil. We can make money at 35 bucks, and when prices go up, we'll do even better. $142 million of proof. I mean, how many jobs is that? Well, Brad Wall was excited, and he thanked the company, but they thanked him back. They wrote, you're welcome, but actually, thank you to you and your government. They're not saying thanks to Brad Wall because he gave them a grant or a subsidy or a bailout. They're saying thanks to him for not wrecking the place like Rachel Notley is doing to Alberta. Look, the world still buys 96 million barrels of oil every single day. There are still trillions of dollars being made in the oil business, hundreds of billions still being invested, just not in Rachel Notley's NDP Alberta. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.